Yes, everybody, welcome to another episode of the United Tunes with myself, C, Emma, my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Part two of the Cristiano Ronaldo interview has just aired and the United Twins are here to react to it. So, let's get started with CR7 speaking about the Eric Ten Hag and really Manchester United issues. But let's focus on ETH and his relationship first and foremost. Piers Morgan asked Ronaldo about leaving games early twice. Once in pre-season and then in after or during the end of the Tottenham game in which we won and at the time said was our best performance of the season. Ronaldo said about that, it's something that I regret to leave from the stadium. Let's say I regret. But in the same way, I felt provoked by the coach. Not allowed for me, uh, a coach to put me in three minutes in a game. Sorry, I'm not that kind of player. Looking at that comment of being provoked, there was a focus on what I felt like was a breakdown in communication between Cristiano, the manager, and the club. You mentioned Ten Hag having a lack of empathy, which is part of the reason why he has no respect for ETH. Obviously, there are other things behind the line or behind the scenes, should I say, that he didn't mention, but he did say there are other things behind the scenes. But he virtually said, I don't show respect to him because he doesn't show the same to me. And what this whole situation seemed like again was a breakdown in communication that wasn't addressed in time. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this whole situation. We heard a lot of these quotes on Sunday when the interview was announced. So there was a, I knew what was coming kind of mentality towards this Cappy, but still having a lack of context will hurt for some, but not all because you would then start to think of Ten Hag, for example, in a certain way, perhaps waiting for the next time somebody of a lesser stature brings something to our attention. Cristiano goes on to speak about the board members wanting to force him out of the club and that includes the coach of course. The owners don't care about the club he said. He also spoke about the owners only caring about the marketing side of it and how they needed to change the entire structure to help United reach the top level again. It's something that as fans we speak about all of the time. Why it is big is because somebody internally is saying it. Of course, ethically and all of that stuff there, this is wrong. But it's embarrassing for an employee to speak about the ownership and the leadership figures with such ill will. It's embarrassing for the football club. Overall though, I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed with the interview scene, considering it was 90 minutes. I expected a lot more to be exposed, but instead we were left with a lot of allegations without context. What I will say is, of course, the parties involved will only know the truth and no doubt in the future there will be some sort of leaks that are revealed. But until then, this moment will peak and die out like many others. What I do want to reiterate is for the fans to maintain their focus on the Glazers and how their mismanagement of the football club CM has led to moments like this. Leaks. Players speaking out after leaving. Ah, lack of development on the football pitch in the academy, training facilities and more. A lot of things will have to go and work our way for these people to consider even selling. But all yeah. we can do is work in unity to provide a purpose for those who want the best for our football club scene. And that stands for everybody. Everybody wants one thing for Manchester United to be successful, for Manchester United to be back at the top, competing for trophies, titles, all of this good stuff, having the best players, developing the best of the best players for the future as well. So why can't we all just come together in unity and work towards the greater good, as many people always say. I've always wanted to say something like that. It sounds like something a superhero would say, but it's serious. Work towards the greater good of your football club, the football club that we all love, ladies and gentlemen. 
but let me know what you thought about the interview in the comment section below. As always, thank you for supporting the United Twins over the course of season two. We're always trying our best to develop these videos for you guys' it's entertainment. So, you know, be sure to critique in the comments as well and let us know what you would like to see. But until the next time when and you know, we'll be covering the World Cup, of course. So we're not going to be gone. We're not going to be gone just yet off your cameras and your TVs and your phones right, and man. all of that good stuff. But it's a look out for those videos. Enjoy the start of the World Cup. We'll see you soon. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to CM22 ENT if you're new. And we'll see you a lot sooner.